Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here, bringing you some more Modern Warfare Zombies content. And in today's video, I'm going to try and go in and do the Elder Sigil, so Tier 5 of the new Dark Aether from Season 2 Reloaded, to see what schematics I can unlock. Because unfortunately, unlike the previous season, there isn't a guarantee that if you complete all three contracts, you get all three new rewards. It's going to be just kind of random, so go in. See if I can complete the tier 5 by myself, and then also see what uh, schematics I get. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let's equip everything. <laughs> Can't really equip the uh, other oh, sigil. This is my first time trying the mags of holding too. So, we'll see how that works out. And then I'm going to go farm tier 3 contracts and contract. try and buy up pulley grenades, self revives, and then head into the dark aether. Okay, so I am all geared up, ready for this. Let's get in here. Yes, please. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, but I get my ether blade still. Oh no. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, poop. Okay, so it's so unfortunate that there was that server error that didn't load in, lost everything. So I've gone back in, I've got myself another Elder Sigil. So let's uh, kind of re-gear up here, re-swap out for the better stuff. Uh, flawless. And Mag's Holding. What else do I want? I want my Aether Blade back. Uh, da -da -da. What else do I need? Oh, plates. Yep, need plates. And now just some perks. Let's get some perks. Speed coal is always fantastic. Uh, dead shot. What else do I want? Um, let's get PhD. Uh, I don't need to do lethal because I'll do the blade. All right, yeah, let's run back in there. I guess I don't really need speed cola if I'm using max of holding. Oh, it's nice for plates, I guess. Marking contract. My favorite contract. Okay, second time. <laughs> Let's uh hope that I don't get the same like disconnect for being not being able to find a match. All right, I'm set up pretty good again. So, should be good. Woohoo, I'm in. <laughs> okay, and what I did find out when I came back in to get another sigil, uh, the other sigil is you do not need to go run over to the plushies to make the contracts woo, fly away. So you can just run straight to it. Oh, you know what I should do? I should grab this. Might as well. Having excess stuff is not a bad thing. Because uh, what I'm going to do is... It's a mega. These ones are tougher. So when I throw down the juggernaut suit... In fact, I should switch over to it now. I'll throw down the monkey so that it pulls all the zombies away 
I only have to worry about the Mega until the uh, suit comes down. Drops on mark. Send it. There you are. Put these back on. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I wasn't really paying attention to my surroundings. That's my fault. Yeah, buddy. Who else wants some? Anyone? Okay, let's do this so I can grab what's in here. Perfect. Love it. I'll need another one of these. Don't need anything else. Okay. Uh, now to go to the next contract. So that went more smooth than... Um, when I came back in here to get the Elder Sigil, I, like, I had a Juggernaut, and it was a Mega instead of a... Uh, any other type of HVT and I like only took it down to half health so I was like kind of scared like oh my gosh if when I come into the Elder Sigil this is probably gonna be brutal and I might need two juggernauts but I ended up not needing the two so that's nice and mags of holding I think is the number one contract I or uh, schematic I want <laughs> Wonder weapons, I just so seldom use. I don't really use them at all, so don't really care if I have uh, them or not. <laughs> um, and then, uh, what's the other new thing? VR11 mags of holding. What's the third? Ooh, I'm completely drawing a blank. See, it's because I <laughs> guess I don't really ultimately care about it. It's going to hit me at some point of what it is. Nah, whatever. Okay, now, and I have learned in here too, yeah, using all the Kazis is really nice. It really does help out. Uh, you kind of get it to land in this center area, and then you can really just kind of watch one direction, and then it kind of pulls from the other. Didn't re equip. Ah! Oh, went outside of that. That's all right. Readjust our strategy here. And you do just have to be cautious using the pulley grenades because you do need to save some for the ether extractor. Or at least I like to save them for the ether, ether extractor. So let's drop this really quick. How many more do I? Oh, I got plenty more. I forgot I got I ended up getting a lot so what do I get here Ooh. oh blood burner key that's right um let me grab a tool now might as well I didn't when I was farming contracts in tier 3 because I wanted more room for the Kazis, but... Uh, and honestly, the blood burner key, I so... Like, it's nice having a vehicle to get around, but I think the blood burner has, like, the worst handling that, like, I actually do not like the vehicle. For whatever its benefits are, I don't... The handling is just so terrible. So, I'm not gonna... That's why I didn't grab the key itself. I just wouldn't really use it.
Well, I've gotten two of the new three. How fantastic would it be to get the last one this run? That would be amazing. And a crystal. It'd be nice to have a crystal. Okay, I've got two equipped of my Kazis, so I'm ready to go. a lot. Oh boy. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> okay, put the next set. Just because I have the excess. Let's just do that. Oh, I don't want to go into it. Let's do this again so I can get what's in here. Uh, reward riff. What do you got for me? Ah, oh, darn. Didn't get the third one. Okay. Whoop. Time to get out of here. is over here somewhere it's right there so yeah this building i know there's more i think there's like four in this one but uh i think this is the closest to the last of that aether extract ether extractor we all right well there we have it the new tier five dark ether complete uh, I think compared to the previous season's Dark Ether, this one is a little bit easier, uh, both the tier four and the tier five. Uh, one, I think the HVT or the um, escort in the first season's Dark Ether, it's just rough to tr you know make sure it survives the whole uh, contract. Uh, so that makes it a little challenging. And then the tier five portion specifically in season one, there's more mega abominations that spawn. And in this new iteration, I haven't seen any outside of the HVT contract. Now, granted, I haven't really run around the map and explored. I've just done the contracts and gotten out. So maybe there are some around the map, but I think that's why it makes it a little easier, especially if you're just well prepared. Uh, the juggernaut for the HVT is clutch. Uh, you're not wasting time trying to take it down. And then having a bunch of Kazis, I think, is really important for both the outlast and then the um ether extractor so uh overall yeah not too bad so i hope everyone enjoyed the video till the next one peace